Hey everyone, welcome back to the Reclaimed Ranch. My name is Tara, and for today's video, I've pulled out some random items th that I've thrifted over the last year that need to be upcycled. So I got this little birdhouse. It's pretty cute, but it does have a couple cracks on each side, and it's not something that I can close completely. So I'm just going to use my Starbond um, glue and accelerator, and I'm going to fill in that crack and then I'll sand it down with my little finger sander and that's just going to prevent it from getting any worse. Um, I do this a lot with the furniture flips as well. If I if I can't completely close it then I at least fill in the gaps. And so both of these items are in the description below. There's a link to them if you are interested in purchasing those. And so um, they work really well. So after that I'm going to go in with the IOD molds. It's called Trimmings 2. And they're at the peak of that birdhouse, there's like a, a gap. So I want to close that and just put a decorative piece on top. So of course, whenever you use your molds, you want to use cornstarch to put in there, and that's going to help release the clay. And I'm using the IOD's air dry clay in this one. And so I'm just going to push it in, and then I'll use gravity to help pull it out and then we're gonna mold it to the top. Sorry, it's kind of out of frame there. I didn't realize it was that far away, but I'm just gonna push it onto there, kind of mold it over the top, and then I'm gonna use my tight bond quick and thick glue to, to glue this down. And this is also in the description below. There's a link for that if you, if you like, because I use it all the time. It's like my favorite glue. So I'm going to use Walmart's brand of chalk paint. It's called Hello Hobby in the color Sage. And I've had this for quite a while, so I'm just trying to work through things in my stash that have been sitting around and need to be used up and and repurposed and things. So trying to clean it out. It feels so good to get get rid of some of the stuff that has just been sitting around and it just makes things overwhelming. It's hard to be creative when you see a mess around you all the time. So it's just a good thing to do to start the year off fresh and, and new and a little more organized. So I'm going to put two coats of this sage green on this birdhouse, let it dry between. And then I'm going to use Fusion's Oakum for the roof. And uh, I just do one one coat. I kind of just did a hit and miss on the, the actual wood part. I did cover the mold completely, but I wanted some of that black to kind of show through as well. Just a little bit more distressing in dimension. And after I let that dry, I went back over. I just took what was left on my paintbrush with the, the sage green and just highlighted that mold there. So now we're going to go in with the Vintage Textures from IOD. It's a stamp, and I'm going to just put a crackling effect all over the birdhouse. It makes it easy, gives it a little distressing, and a little bit more visually pleasing to look at. And then this one's done. So this next project, I've had another pillow case just laying around. This one's a really big one. Um, but I'm keeping this for myself. I'm going to put it on my bed. And I'm going to use the IOD stamp called Sprigs. And we're going to make just a, a line or a row of all these little sprigs across the bottom. And then I'm going to put the word Bloom on top. And I used the color New Grass in the IOD ink. It's a permanent ink. Um, so that way, after I heat set it, I can wash it if I need to later on down the road. So we're just going to stamp it on again. When you want to stamp on fabric, you want to make sure you have enough to saturate through the fabric. And I do have a piece of plastic in between that and the back so it doesn't go all the way through. And then I just picked out the layout that I wanted. And I'm going to just keep going all the way across. Thank you. 
And then for the Bloom Word, I'm going to be using the IOD stamp set called Swoosh. It's a very pretty cursive uh, stamp set. And this is what it looks like here. And all of those letters actually blend in together so that they look like it's actual cursive, which makes it pretty cool. And I just chose to use the black ink for the bloom. It would have been pretty in, in blue as well. And this next set here, I have some utensil holders downstairs and I just picked this black one up and there's a couple creamers that I wanted to get into my booth so I'm going to use the IOD traditional pots transfer and this white transfer just stands out against that black really well and with the transfers if you've never used them they come on a a piece of white backing you take the backing off place the transfer where you want it and it comes with that little plastic tool and then you use the tool to rub down the transfer and pull up the vellum on one side and then that's just going to help it release onto your project. And if it doesn't release, then you just put it right back down, keep rubbing until it does. And then you use that paper to burnish in, like I'm doing there, burnish in that transfer. So this third little creamer here, I'm going to be painting on this little bee. It's from a chalk couture transfer that I had from years ago. And so I am still using the IOD ink and a little sponge dauber. And I'm just daubing down the paint, trying not to do too much because it can bleed. And then I immediately have to wipe it down so that it doesn't ruin that little mesh stencil. And then the last one here is this little brush used for probably shining shoes. Everybody always, you know, thinks it's for men only, but we're going to make this look pretty so that we can put it in some decor. And I'm going to be using Fusion's Damask. I don't know if that's how you say it, but um, it's a really dusty rose color that I just think is so pretty. And I'm going to put two coats of that on. And then I will be using IOD's stamp set called Backplates. And I've never used this one, so I'm going to be using my little finger sander to season the stamps. You just sand over it a little bit with 220 grit sandpaper and that's going to help that ink grip to the, the stamp. And I'm just using my black ink from IOD. I'm going to keep it with one hand pressed down and then it puts that little beautiful detail on that brush and now you can have it in your little vignettes with some books or some brass. So here's the lot for today. Let me know what you guys think. I always love reading your comments and and hearing your advice on doing different techniques. So I hope you all have a wonderful week and I will be back here on Friday. Not sure what we're going to be doing just yet. I may have a couple of stools that I want to refinish. So we'll see about getting those done. Anyway, take care and we'll see you then. Bye.